Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my baby Arabella and this little cutie is going to get her clothes changed today and we're going to have a little chat. Let me show you what I'm going to put her in. So right now she's in this um, like mustard yellow sleeper and it has a little lamb on it with hearts and um, I think that could be pretty good for Easter time and spring but she's been in this a really long time and I got this new outfit a little bit ago and I think it's really really cute. So this is from Nicole Miller, New York. And it's a little kimono style sleeper, long sleeves, it has beautiful flowers all over it. I love this. And then there's the little bow right here. And then um, these matching pants with the little feet on the bottom are so cute. And look at the back. There's little frou-frou ruffles on the butt. So, so sweet. And then um, it came with this bib and it's reversible. So I don't know which side I'm going to use. I guess we'll see what looks better when we put it on her, but that's really cute. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change out her headband and put her in this cute one. This is a really nice pink one with a little bow on it. And then um, I found this with little butterflies on it, really, really cute. I have a bunny one too, but the magnet didn't work with um, the type of magnet that she has, but I think this is super cute. And then I have this cute little toy. It doesn't rattle or anything, but it looks like a rattle. And has a little bunny on it. <laughs> so sweet. I got that with a different doll. So um, I'm going to start um, changing her while we talk. And the topic for today is um, becoming a reborn artist. And I'm going to kind of explain why I haven't done it yet. Um, I, it's something I really, really want to do. Oh, her hair is crazy. We'll fix that. Um, it's something I really, really want to do very badly. I've wanted to become an artist since I started collecting um, this past summer. And I think I can do it. I watch tons of tutorials and I'm sort of artistically inclined already. So I think it's something that um, I could manage. And it's a passion of mine. It's something I really, like I said, I really, really want to do it. But there's something that really concerns me regarding that. I think I'm going to leave her in this uh, onesie. Oh, she's so cute. Um, but there's something that is concerning me with it. And this is something I see a lot in my Facebook Reborn groups. And it just scares me so badly. Um, so I know I've talked about scams here on my channel. But there's another type of scam that I don't think I've ever mentioned. And that is when artists get scammed by the buyers. Believe it or not, this does happen. So basically what I have seen, and I've seen this numerous times. Am I putting this on right? <laughs> this doesn't look right to me. No, it's not. Ugh. Let's fix. Wait, is it? No. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, but what I've seen is basically someone will purchase a Reborn and they'll get tons of photos, everything is good, they're super excited, um, then they get the baby and they say something's wrong. Um, and, you know, that does happen, but what I've seen is people lying. Um, they'll put marks on the baby that weren't there, and then the sellers have to like prove that it wasn't there. So they'll show their pictures. I think it's really important for sellers always to provide a lot of photos for this reason. Um, so basically people are trying to get a free reborn, get their money back um, for a reborn that was perfectly fine. Okay, we gotta figure out this little shirt. This is so cute. But yeah, they'll, um, they'll provide pictures um, claiming that um, that baby had um, like marker on it or something wrong or the paint will be rubbed off. Something isn't right with the doll. Um, and it's not the case. That wasn't the case when the doll was sent to them. The baby was fine. Um, I've even heard, she is so cute. I've even heard of people saying they never got the baby and the artist will say well no look the tracking they did receive the baby and people will take it so far as to 
take the baby out when they get it home, replace the baby with something else, like rocks or something heavy that would be about the weight of the doll. And they'll say, look what I got. I didn't get the doll. This is what I got. And then the poor artist has to prove somehow that they sent that doll. And um, from my experience, um, things that I've seen in the community is that PayPal usually sides with the buyer, which is great if you're a buyer. But if you're, <laughs> if you're a seller and someone is trying to um, get their baby for free for no reason, um, that's a big, big problem. Oh, I don't like how these pants are sitting on here. Let's see. There we go. A little too high there. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I love this outfit. It is so beautiful. Look at these ruffles. Oh, you're so cute, Arabella. Okay. And then I have this and I don't know which side. So let's see. If I do that, it might kind of matches better, but then, oh, I don't know. That looks cute too. But see, I like this side, but the tag is there. So I don't know. I think we're going to go with this way. Um, but yeah, that's a huge problem, and that is something that has been concerning me. Um, I am terrified of spending all this time on a reborn baby and, you know, pouring my heart and soul into that doll and spending all kinds of money to create that baby because they are not cheap to make. Um, that's part of the reason why they are so expensive to buy is the supplies you know, those cost a lot of money. Um, some of the kits are hundreds of dollars, just the blank kits. And then you need paint, paint brushes, you know, you need um, varnish, you need glue for their um, eyelashes or their hair, um, all kinds of things. And then you have to send the baby home in something. So you have to buy clothing for the baby. Oh, I gotta fix her hair, let's see here. Um, you know, most of them come with a magnetic pacifier so you have to buy the magnets and it's just it's a lot of work and it's a lot of money and yes I think it's totally worth it but like I said I'm just scared I don't want to do this and have issues now something my husband mentioned and I completely agree with him sorry I'm like really picky about their hair <laughs> it's not going how I want it okay um, something my husband mentioned and it's a great idea, and I'm sure a lot of artists do this, um, is, you know, when they send you the money and you send the doll out, don't use that money right away. Make sure they like it. Um, but another problem I have seen is people will wait. They will have their baby for, like, a few weeks or even a month or so, and then they will say there's a problem. And it's like, oh, my gosh, what if, you know, um, however they paid and I think I would only accept PayPal but what if PayPal um sides with them what if I'm not able to prove that I sent the baby and the baby was good and everything was fine um that is just something that I'm really really concerned about and so oh this is cute she can hold that <laughs> um but yeah I just I don't know I really want to do this I'm just terrified and um, like I said it's something that I think I can do but I'm worried um, I am terrified that I'm going to even wait a couple weeks and then be like okay it's fine and then I can spend that money and then PayPal would side with them for whatever reason because um, like I said they usually side with the buyer and then I spend that money and then they need their money back. I have to give them their money back and then I don't have the money, you know what I mean? Or I lose a lot of money. Um, and I think I'm not positive on this, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think when um, buyers in certain circumstances get their money back, I think they can even keep the doll. I don't know if that's true, um, but I think that is the case. So, I mean, then I would be out the doll all that work, all that hard work. I can't even resell the doll um, and the money. And so that is something that really scares me. Um, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think I should just go for it? Do you think I should just take the plunge, take the risk? 
it's, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's terrifying. Um, and that is why I haven't started yet. I, like I said, I've been wanting to do this since this past summer. Um, right when I got my first reborn, I was like, wow, it would be so amazing to make these babies. And I would love to create videos where I'm painting them. Um, I just think it would be amazing. I think it would, um, be such a creative outlet for me. I really love doing art. I love to paint skull, um, landscapes. I love to sketch. And so, um, you know, when I get into those projects, I kind of put my whole heart and soul into it. I kind of forget all the other things on my mind. I just put all my energy into what I'm doing. So I think it would be super, super awesome and fun. And of course I have a huge passion for these reborn babies. And I just think it would be so amazing to create such beautiful little works of art. I mean, look at her. She is so beautiful. Um, but yeah, that scares me. Anyone out there, an artist that that has happened to, what what was the outcome of that? Um, were you able to prove that um, your baby was fine, that you sent the baby, everything was good, that the buyer was totally happy and excited? What happened? Has anyone lost money due to this? Um, I really, really like to hear from you. Um, I know, you know, that I hear from it in the reborn groups, but usually, I don't usually follow up with people like, um, you know, I'll just be scrolling. I won't be like in the conversation. Um, I'll just hear about, oh, this lady did this and then nothing is said of it sometimes. And I'm just like, oh, what happened? You know, like, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm just worried about it. But let me know if you have any personal experience with this or if you've heard of this happening to someone, maybe someone you know, or, you know, just heard of. Um, I'd really like to hear from you. Anyways, guys, that's it. Um, that was just on my mind and I've been more so wanting to create these reborns now. And so I'm just terrified, as I said, and I'm just trying to weigh the pluses and negatives of it. I really don't know, um, what I'm going to choose, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear from everyone, not just artists. I would love to hear everyone's opinion and, um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. But thank you so much for joining me and little Arabella. Isn't she so cute? I just love this little one. And we'll see you next time. Bye.